I say, of course, it's never raining, but it pours, particularly if you are a senior member of the British monarchy. You can never do right for doing wrong. And consequently, of course, the backlash just rolls on and on. We're talking, of course, about our wonderful monarch, King Charles III. Very compassionate man, very much a forgiving man, and more importantly, just very liberal, open to listening to both sides of the argument. I think you could absolutely say that when you consider what he's gone through with his youngest son, the former royal known as Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex. But now a Hollywood star seemingly has created an unseemly backlash for the monarch as ever. Let me explain. Lovely to see you today in the very heart of London. Yeah, we'll have a quick wave. You all right? Thank you, by the way, as ever, for your lovely support with all the videos. It is much appreciated. Glad you enjoyed the, the cards with the mother-in-law. I love those jokes, don't you? The mother-in-law jokes should not be taken seriously. All a bit of fun, but it's funny, isn't it, how we now have to explain that sort of humour to people. I'll just tell you this quickly, I was sort of showing a clip to um, a colleague at work, a very young colleague, and uh, you know he's in his 20s, and I was sort of saying that, you know, this is great, this is funny. And it was a clip of Are You Being Served? And he said, I don't know, why is this funny? And I thought, has humour changed that much? And it was a brilliant clip, uh, alongside Captain Peacock, wonderfully paid, uh, played by Frank Thornton, of course, and Molly Sugden as Mrs. Slocum. And it's just hilarious. And yet, no, face never cracked. You do kind of wonder what that generation now think funny, or has humour been erased? It's a, a bit of a talking point now. May I come back to that? Yes, well, if you fancy, we'll have a conversation. Yes, just let me know. Do you think people are not laughing as much now? Back as ever, though, to your royal story of the day. Yes, the Hollywood star Kevin Spacey, who was famously cancelled and, of course, exonerated from all charges, no problem at all, whatever. Now, it's interesting because he's been doing the round of interviews and recently popped up over here on a UK chat show and consequently, you know, once again was delved deeply into what went wrong, what he did. As I said, at his time as the uh, artistic director for the Old Vic Theatre in London, he did a lot to put it on the map. And I interviewed Kevin on a number of occasions at the Old Vic, always found him to be fun, down to earth, and more importantly, a little bit cheeky, but you know, if you knew what to do, if you know what I'm saying, you just slap them down, don't you? But the bottom line with people like that is, you know, they are sort of theatrical, darling, you know, and you just have to know exactly where the line is. Now, I'm not condoning or, of course, taking either side. I'm just explaining my personal experience. But now, you see, Kevin came out and basically said uh, that he received a message of support from His Majesty the King, King Charles III. And this has really kicked off as, oh dear, you know, Charles shouldn't be doing that, shouldn't be supporting him. As I said, Kevin has been completely exonerated in a court of law, not once but twice. And what's interesting also that people are failing to mention the fact that other people came out publicly to support uh, the, you know, the actor Kevin Spacey, including Dame Judi Dench, who'd worked with him on a number of occasions, and other leading lights of the theatrical world. Doesn't get picked up on that, you see. Not a negative enough, is it? Now, I don't know about you, but my situation is this, you know, nobody really knows all sides of the story, and that's what I think when you're looking at stuff, stuff like that. Kevin has basically said he's had to sell his Hollywood house in order to pay off all the lawyer's debts and all the things that he accrued and the loss of earnings since, of course, that cancellation about four or five years ago now. Either way, I think the fact that, you know, His Majesty the King supported him, the background to the story is simply this. During, uh, you know, Kevin's tenure as the uh, artistic director at the Old Vic, he was very kind uh, in suggesting plays, uh, visits and all that sort of stuff to our late and wonderful monarch, Queen Elizabeth, and indeed the Duke of Edinburgh, should they wish to come along to see anything that uh, tickled their fancy. And that really started the friendship between them, because as you can imagine, you know, His Majesty the King, as I say, is very sort of diplomatic, likes to keep friendships going, and more importantly, saw nothing wrong in simply offering a very basic level of support. As ever though, the mainstream media want to twist it into something far darker. We like to tell you the absolute truth here on this channel. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.